Governor Eric Holcomb is preparing for the upcoming legislative session, which starts in January. While he didn't announce his legislative priorities, he did comment on those of the Democratic Party, including the legalization of marijuana. Here's what he had to say about legalization, as well as economic development in Tippecanoe County. The Indiana Democratic Party has said legalizing recreational marijuana is one of their top priorities. However, that's not something that Governor Eric Holcomb supports at this time. The law that needs to change is the federal law. It is illegal right now for recreational use, for medicinal use. There are states who have ignored that law. I will not ignore any law, whether I agree with it or disagree with it. So that's the law that needs to change. But Indiana Democrats feel legalizing marijuana would create a steady stream of tax revenue for the state. But Holcomb says that isn't a motivation for him either. Tax revenue doesn't motivate me one bit. I mean, we're, we're, if, if revenue motivated me um, solely, I would focus that in areas that are booming right now in the state of Indiana, our manufacturing base, our life sciences sector, our tech sector, etc. He says that he feels the FDA also needs to weigh in on the efficacy of marijuana use in a medical form and regulate it. I would love to know for medicinal use uh, what the positive effects could be if it was truly regulated like every other prescription drug on the market that helps people. Governor Holcomb also discussed economic development in Greater Lafayette, specifically the potential of commercial flights coming to the Purdue University Airport. It's something Holcomb says would connect the crossroads of America to the world. We have to make sure we're connected in every which way um, to capitalize on that central location, which can now be central in the world. Air traffic is critically important to that. And creating a regional airport at Purdue is something he feels would also benefit the community of Greater Lafayette as it continues to grow. Having Purdue University, a world-class university, um, connected to an airport connects it to the world. And getting that type of you know, global talent, easy in, easy out, back around the world into different industries and sectors, couldn't be, uh, couldn't be more thrilled to see that project. Greater Lafayette and surrounding counties hope to receive funding from the Ready Grant to bring passenger air local. The announcement on how the $50 million grant will be awarded will take place tomorrow in Indianapolis.